Good afternoon. Afternoon. How are you? It's, I'm very good. This good. show, Krypton, mm. sounds amazing. Yeah, thank you very much. At what point did you uh, you get called in? Were you doing casting for this, or how did this work? Um, so I I had been auditioning for this for uh, something around like six months almost. Wow. I, I was told that I didn't get it twice, um, but then through uh, just through the process, get, kept getting called back and finally got the role. That's amazing. Yeah. So what did they tell you when you were auditioning for it? Did you get some information about who you'd be playing? Um, I, I had a fair amount of information. You know, as you get further on, you get a little bit more and a little bit more. Um, right. But yeah, I, knew, I knew that the project was, was something pretty special. Do you, how much connection do you have to Superman before all this? Did you, did you know I'm, much? I'm a huge comic book fan. You are. I've been reading comic books since I was eight years old, and I was always a DC guy, and, and Superman was always, you know, my hero. That's amazing. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. I mean, that's a pretty rare thing when you talk about to people who get roles and things. You don't always hear that they're fans and material they're, they're doing Yeah, into. absolutely. I mean, I've been researching this role since I was eight years old, so yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. So you actually knew who the character was, even? I, I really did, yeah. You did? Yeah, absolutely, 100%. You know, read, read all the books, you know. One of the, one of the books I was reading just to get ready for this was the new Krypton arc by Jeff Johns, Gary Frank. You know, they're heroes of mine. They're fantastic creators, so... Yeah, no, I'm I'm thrilled to be a part of this world. Did you get to talk to any artists yet? Have you talked to anyone involved you, with all the comics? You know, I I haven't yet. Um, I'm, I'd I'm just be curious what they would think, even. But I'm sure you know, that's I, I just piece. through social media, I've reached out to to various people. I talked a little, tiny bit to to Jeff Johns, who really is a hero of mine. Um, he seems like the nicest guy. I can't wait to meet him. Cool. Yeah. So you've done the pilot. What can you tell us so far about? Mm. what we're looking at here so you, you're looking at the, the planet Krypton two generations before uh, Kal-El blasts off the surface and, and becomes Superman um, so you've got on, on some levels this amazing utopian society um, which on another level is crumbling mm. uh, and you've got my character Segel uh, who was you know once the scion of this fantastic um, house the house of El which was one of the great houses of, of the planet Krypton uh, which has been um, shamed and, and, and thrown from the light and, and, and are now living in the lowest caste of Kryptonian society. Mm. And that's where we start our story. It's, it's always fun to start at the bottom. To uh, yeah, absolutely, <laughs> there you go. Do you, do you have much idea yet where things are going to go? Like have they, not that you can say, but have they talked to you much about where the character is going to go? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's going to be exciting. <laughs> yeah. Is it, uh, I mean, what kind, of, uh, what kind of role is this? Some action... Is it yeah. some action, some mix of drama, obviously? The, the thing is, it's a really fantastic show. It, it's not a traditional superhero uh, TV show right. in, in the sense that no one is, is putting on a costume and fighting crime. Right. But um, you have loads of shades of grey. You know, no hero is, is the paragon of justice and no villain is, you know, hard as black as night bad guy. So you, you have um, all sorts of shades of grey to play in. Um, so I think, I think it, it's going to be fantastic. Can you say, like, does, to some level, does the current political climate play a part in this story? Because I think great there's always a room for that. Yeah, yeah. Well, this show, if nothing else, is, is really pure science fiction. You know, for, for me, the things that I think about when I think Krypton are 1984 and Blade Runner and right. things like that. Um, so f for me, great science fiction has always been about not just the world or, you know, the aliens or the monster or whatever it might be. It's always been about people. Right. and how people connect to each other, and that plays massively into what Krypton is. Do you have some favorite science fiction that you've kind of either watched in preparation or just in yeah. general, just that sticks with you? Um, for me, gosh, there's so, there's so much good stuff. But the first movie I ever saw on the big screen was the 1990s re-release of A New Hope. Oh, really? You know, so the, the very first Star Wars movie they yeah. made, and, and it's such a timeless story, and... Features a lot of the, you know, the similar things that we have, like the hero's journey and, and you know, great mythology that is connected to and such you know, great heroes in it, like you know, you know, Han and Luke and Princess Leia. It's, a, it's immortal. You, know? you, you have spectacular parents to be able to have seen that, considering yeah. how young you are, really. Absolutely. I mean, well, you know, my mom and uh, movies have always been very important in our, in our household. That's how amazing. we spend time together. So, they, you know, my mom and dad were saying, this is a special movie. You've got to go and see it. Is there, is there anything that you hope for in the future of Krypton that 
you hope you get the chance to play to or do or is this something you'd like to see in the series? Yeah, I think I think the thing is we have we have a fantastic cast, um, and I think we're all really excited about just how incredible this world is and, and the, the diverse level of storytelling. Right. Uh, we can tell there are so many roads we can go down. Um, so I, I think for me the most interesting thing is the is those shades of grey. Mm -hmm. You know what? How do we make these people who might be good or bad people, how do right. they have to make difficult choices, you know, so it's throw in those difficult choices and, and, and see how they come out. It seems like a lot of fun. Yeah, it's a blast. They're fantastic people. What about the creators and working with them? Because yeah. you've got a spectacular team behind the It's show. incredible. Yeah, I mean, David Goya was a hero of mine, you know, even before, because I loved the Christopher Nolan Batman films, obviously, right. and Man of Steel, so... To be working with him is a genuine pleasure. He's a genius. He's a really, really strong villain. Uh, to villain. That sounds wrong. Uh, he's not a villain <laughs> unless you're lucky, working very late at night. Uh, he's he's, he's a, a really, really strong uh, vision for what this is and for what this show is. And um, it's a pleasure to be working with him. He's a great leader. I don't want you to put words in anyone's mouth, but have you heard, gotten a sense from him that this must be another dream job? Because it seems like he's really invested in the DC universe at this point. Uh, yeah, I mean, he, I mean, he's does, he does so much fantastic stuff. Um, he's a brilliant writer and a brilliant producer and director. Um, I think for him, you know, one of the things that fascinated him about working on Man of Steel was creating the Kryptonian society. So I think, you know, the, the genesis of what this show is um, was, was born there. So, cool. yeah. The idea for the technology even stands out quite a bit from that movie yeah, as well. Yeah, well, we have fantastic designers, and everything you see in the show, the, the, the production, um, and the costumes, and the sets, um, they all have a purpose. It's a very, very fleshed-out world we're creating. That's cool. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. No, my absolute pleasure. Thank you so much. Cheers. Thank you. Take care.